Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. This is part of the series in which we take a look at some of the brand new features inside of Final Cut Pro 10.0.6. If you're wondering how to get the update, then uh, just go over to the Mac App Store and uh, check the Updates tab and you should see the update for Final Cut Pro 10. Now, uh, we're taking a look at the audio multi-channel mixing tool, uh, which has been built into this new update. Now, what does this actually mean? Now, basically, it's just an advanced tweaking system to allow you to mix the different levels within a track but there's a couple of things to bear in mind that will enable you to do a better job of this now let's take a look at this sound here this is a cinematic boom it's from the free sound project um, it hits in about here you might be able to hear that now at the bottom if we go into the inspector by clicking on this button here making sure it's blue you'll see the inspector here now down here in the channel configuration you can see it's set to stereo. Now this basically means this is a stereo clip. The stereo clip is made up of a left channel and a right channel. You might want to check out my tutorial on uh, multi uh, audio channels. But basically, if we were to click on where it says stereo and change it to dual mono, that basically collapses the single audio file into two separate files. You can see in the channel configuration we've now got a left channel which is a separate audio track and the right channel which is a separate audio track now what this does a bit like in Final Cut Pro 7 your left channel and your right channel are in separate tracks in your timeline down here you might be looking at this thinking but where's our two different tracks we can see two tracks here but there's only one track here now the power of this is the fact that Regardless of the fact that they are now treated like two separate individual mono channels, they correspond as one clip. So we can move this around like one clip, but it's two separate channels. Now, if we were to hold down Control, Option, and press S, you can see that we collapse this sound file into its two mono files. And you can see this little yellow icon under the mouse cursor. Now this basically shows that we're in a selection mode. You can see that if we just click and drag over here, we've set an in and an out point. And very quickly using this in and out point, we can change the level of that area within that in and out point. So this makes it really easy to uh, set different regions and to play around with the different levels of the sequence, like that. And we are editing within channels within the file, if that makes sense. Um, we can now hold down Control Option and press S again. Sorry, Control Option S. Make sure we select the cinematic boot thing, and that collapses it back up to the main file. Sorry, into a, it collapses it back into a single item in your timeline or your storyline. If we were to keep this just on stereo, when we go to collapse it. You can see it only collapses it into one and just tells you that it's stereo. This still means that we can play around with our keyframes, but it's affecting it as a whole rather than the individual channels. Now, if we collapse this back in, we can obviously do this for the other items. You can see this is a stereo clip that's part of our primary storyline. Control, Option, S, collapse that out, and then we can play around with the keyframes. And this is actually a lot quicker. This whole selection tool, so that we can um, change the height of the waveform, the basically the, we're changing the volumes when we select a region and moving it. Doing this is a lot quicker than if we had it collapsed. You have to hold down Option, Tap, 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 that was all holding down option and then animate. You can see that's fine, but that really is nowhere near as quick as saying, okay, I want to quieten down this portion here because someone's speaking. Let's just quickly collapse that. And then you can just select that region and dip it. Obviously, it's not going to work entirely right at the moment because I've already got keyframes in place. But let's say the audio was, the dialogue was here. We can just quickly select that area. Ooh and bring it down and that is a lot quicker than setting than tapping four times to set the four keyframes because if you look at that look at it we haven't just added this keyframe and this keyframe if we select off we've added four key keyframes to create the uh, 
the animation, the change in the volume. So that is uh, the multi-channel audio editing tools uh, part of it that's built into Final Cut Pro 10, 10.0.6. Uh, so hopefully this was useful and remember to check out the other tutorials on these brand new features.